welcome back it's madison and i'm here to give you more makeup tutorials from my bedroom so i'm gonna go with a bold shimmery um coral to match my outfit so we're just gonna continue to blend this in and get all the way up to your eyebrow like don't be shy so i'm gonna work on our cheeks so i'm using um elf blush and really, I think the point of blush is not really to look like a clown, but more so look like you're alive, which is really critical in a pandemic. I want to get rid of my cupid's bow, so I'm just going to start lining my lip a little bit, um, like so. Love looks not with the eyes but with the mind and therefore is winged cupid painted blind oh my god did i get on the wrong zoom oh this is so embarrassing mort i'm so, so oh my god i'm so sorry i clearly like screwed this up like i must have jumped back into our interview one by accident um, you, uh, uh, you can also call me Julian. Um, I was I was trying to prepare for today, so I I really only got one braid in. But then I figured, you know, you never really complimented me on my hair. I really disliked my hair, so why not just just leave it the way it usually is? So I just, um, but I can just put back the hat. Did you see I got flowers? You look stunning. You you look stunning today. What is ha what is happening right now? How did this happen? Um, well, I, we don't, we don't live in a fantasy world in which I could take a potion and become a different person that you would talk to. So I, um, I get really comfortable online and fan fiction, uh, is a thing that I enjoy looking at. And I just saw one of your pieces and I was just so overwhelmed by your writing that I just kept talking to you specifically as Julian. Whose identity did you steal for this? Like, you're not, you're not even over six foot. You're not, like, not even, and you were like, oh, my doctor told me I'm, like, in the top percent or whatever. Well, I am, I'm in the top 10% of socially awkward cases that he has had. It's just different kinds of doctors. Did you even actually have a dream about Matt Damon and Will Ferrell? Is that even, like, a real thing that happened? Do you even know who they are? I know that Matt Damon is the single person that wrote Good Will Hunting, although he generously shares credit with his friend Ben Affleck. He's such an idiot. Ben Affleck is such an idiot. I understand. And his tattoos are terrible as well. I need you to know that your writing is probably the most profound thing I've ever read. And the connection that we had is, is simply the most important thing that has happened. And I would, I would give up my presidency in a second if I thought I could make you feel better and I could really apologize. I feel like I, in the course of this, have now swallowed probably six gallons of lip gloss because I put on a stupid amount of makeup for someone that I thought I'd never met before and needed to make a first impression with, but apparently I've already made a first impression and apparently it was an impression where you felt like you couldn't even tell me it was really you. I never thought I would be like the Leda to your Zeus. I would, never, I would never make you have egg babies without your consent. I would never do that. I figured I should tell you the truth in an albeit jarring and possibly scarring way. This is gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. Like, I don't know. I'm feeling a lot of things right now and like none of them are that great. Like we've learned a lot about each other and like I assume some of it's true. Like it didn't all just come from nowhere. And like maybe one day, like, I don't know, you come over for like one of my family's like afternoon teas or something and we could like talk about it and like be fine. But like right now I need space. I need to think about stuff and I'm not, I'm not saying anything's gonna happen. I'm not even saying what will happen. I'm just saying I need to like sort this out. Not even here. That was a visual representation of how much space I'm I'm willing to give. I got it. Yeah, you're intelligent. I'm sorry. That was really redundant. I apologize. I'm ready to be your friend, um, your classmate, your president again, whatever, whatever capacity in which you would like to be. Um, in communion, I'm happy to do, to, to do that with you. 
I will get back to you in five to 10 business days. You're a phenomenal creature. And um, I am, I don't often make eye contact with people and I know it's hard to do in Zoom, but I'm sorry. Salute. Cheers, dude. Oh, I forgot a spoon. It's still a pandemic. I wash my hands. Ma'am, we solved a whole mystery, dude. It was intense. I appreciate your service as a friend and comrade. Anytime, and dude. Sleuth. Yeah. I appreciate that you're president again. I appreciate that you stuck up for yourself a lot. You branched out of your comfort zone. And you know what? You owned up to something you did and you're a better man because of it. I think, what happened with that? Um, let, let's just say it ended the way it was supposed to. Sex, got it. That's not, um, before the chilling's done. Yeah. You owe me, dude. I, I owe you? Yeah. It's, it's time to do that thing, right? I'm too that, I'm a toxic, nauseous gas, but the only thing toxic is you not being with me. Drop that beat, man. Haha, <laughs> it's your boy Brent. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on. Maddie, you need to know what I feel is real. Get it now, you call it birds and bees Martin says it's stirring that mac and cheese Okay, let's call it a nap bat One, two, three, to be exact Still confused? Well, clearly I am too But to conclude, I suppose It's buttering a roller rolling in some hay Give you an eruption at the end of the day You know, it's all just stuff Oh, dude, hang on. You're literally talking about Heather Michelson. I, I mean, that's that's chill, bro. We're best friends. Like, it's cool. I will learn to love whoever you love. Like, I support you. Love whoever you want. <clears throat> Do stuff. Lots of stuff. Sexy stuff. Over the clothes stuff. You know the stuff. You know what's up. Just want to stuff with you girl let's do stuff lots of stuff sexy stuff stuff you never heard of let's do some stuff yo